All right, three and two and one. Shall I end, everyone? Thank you for joining. Today we'll be covering in the book of Numbers, chapter two. This is titled, The Arrangement of the Camp. Um, and the Ishi spake unto Moshe and unto Aharon, saying, Every man of the children of Israel shall pitch by his own standard with the ensign of their father's house far off about the tabernacle of the congregation shall they pitch. Okay, so by definition, we have the word ensign. 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 Word sign. It doesn't say sun. Ensign. 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 A, a, a sign or a flag or standard, especially a military or naval one indicating nationality. So, right off the bat, we have a verse that states set up a flag to indicate your nationality. Now, if we say they go from family to tribe to nation, all right, I'm sorry, I skipped one. All right, you go from family to clan to tribe to nation. The robot corrected me. The robot is an excellent teacher. Ah. So, it gives you all these. All right, well, uh, how do you go do some body activities for the childs, for the childrens? All right, so here we have what is the difference between a tribe and a clan? Tribe is a group of clans who reside within a specific geographical location. So if, so you, you might think, um, okay, I use myself, like I live in Ohio. So I have a family and then my family, it has a last name. And then if I group together with other people that are of the same last name, that will make us a tribe. Now, if I have a family and I'm with other families living in an area, but we're not related, but we are grouped together as one, uh, geographically, mentality, something of this nature, that's going to be a clan. So when they sit there and say, You live in the city of Akron, and they turn on the news and they say, okay, tonight, Akronians or Akronites, that's going to be a clan. Of course, we and you call it a city, and as a city, we don't think alike, we don't do, but that's, that's what a clan is, okay? Again, there's geographical location. Now, if somebody comes into the location to push you all off, there's a good chance everybody in that region will group together to put, to put up resistance. Okay, so now a family, it should go family, tribe, then clan, because you, know, you get multiple tribes together and they can be a clan and be unrelated within that uh, within the tribes as they unite. And of course, you live in a nation. If they go, okay, in the news today, Ohioans, that's a nation, all right? Not the idea of the United States. We are 50 states or 50 nations united. That's what the United States is. Now, to have an ensign, it is a flag, but within 
just having a flag, you have positions, right? Captain, lieutenant, general, admiral, things of that nature. So when you consider this, you'll have things like this. You'll have whatever military branch you're going to have. You'll have an ensign, and then it will be. It's considered the military rank. Okay, how far they or how important they are. Now, along with that, we see that there are. 12 tribes. You will see things like this, the 12 tribes of Israel and each flag for one of them. Knowing whether these flags are correct or not, that's a whole different story. This because this, this and uh, questions, where where is it in the Bible that they're listed to be able to say what each of these are? All right, and so here they're making here it says let's take the Levites for example it says the Levites they kept charge of the tabernacle they had no territory of their own and were dispersed among the other tribes um, he's basing that on numbers 1 and 53 we just read numbers 1 and 53 that's not what it said it said that they are the caretakers of the tabernacle and not to leave the tabernacle. So this is why we don't really depend on sites, websites created by other people, because they just write it the way they want it. You can't see who the author of this site is. You have no idea about their beliefs. Their emblem was the ifod of the high priest, which on which were engraved upon precious stones in the name of all tribes. The biblical phrase on the tab, Deuteronomy 33 and 10, they shall teach Jacob thy judgments and Israel thy law. Okay, so this is the claim. Now, we are separate from this site. We will keep studying to figure out which, what each flag should say, but here is where we could call is just an example. An example of what they should be. Now again, when I say other people, when I make statements like there are things that other people could be doing, this per se is, is one of them. Okay. As it's 2023, you sit there and say, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. Then it becomes, what do you have to show for it? If you sit there and say, oh, the Levite is supposed to look like this, and we're all supposed to be Levites in the last day, then, you know, are you building anything in that direction? You know, um, The ability to make a flag. These people say, I'm Judah, I'm Levi, I'm, I'm Israel. Okay, well, there's a whole book that gives instructions on how to represent. Period. Or how these names and titles should be represented. I have I started this journey with the GOCC when they had their Holy Day celebration. When you're there, this is the first time you come in and you know you're just wearing you know clothes, and then you get there and you've seen you now see people that have come before. How do you know they come before? Well. They have clothes. They have bought garments for the occasion. Garments you just wouldn't wear around the house. So they've invested. And if, if, 
If the stranger says, oh, that's your belief, well, they've invested in their belief. As we read about these flags, it's one thing to say, I want some Hebrew wardrobe. I'm going to go online and see who makes the Hebrew wardrobe. And then you find somebody that's making Hebrew wardrobe. And let's say you're satisfied. And you're going to make a purchase. These aren't really cheap things. This isn't uh, a $25 hoodie. It's not uh, a $50 pair of shoes. You're going to buy a garment, right? It's, it's, it's fairly pricey. So again, even the people that want to look the part put their investments in that. So keep this in mind with the idea that there are flags of the houses of Israel. Israel. Now, I brought you here to see this when you see flags of the houses of Israel. Up here for sales, you see some individual stuff. And I want you to, as soon as we scroll down, it'll be pretty obvious what I want you to see. Now, there are people that have been viewing for a long time. And right now, they are like, that is not the star of Israel. Uh, that is not the star of Israel. That is star of Moloch. That is star of Rimfan. And I, and I want to say, you are wrong. And I want to say, you are right. Now, how can you be both wrong and both right? Well, very clear. Psalms 83 says what? Well, we shall we shall cut them off from being a nation. So when we go into this book, how do you actually spell Israel? It's right there. How do you pronounce it? It's right there. This pronunciation has actually very little to do with this word. You can see it clearly. One starts technically with a Y. And you see is Ra, and we all know from yesterday, Ra means bad. And then what does that say? That says ale. E, excuse me, L. L. Right? Now, clearly the difference down here is, and does it say Ra, R A H? It says Raw. Now, you know the difference between things that are raw and things that are cooked so and it's raw ale again you can take raw ale and you can type it in and they will show you how to create with cooking raw ale and why is it called raw i don't know so think about this as we go a little bit further this name it's actually not biblical. Yes, you open up your basic Bible and it's right there. But if you open up a Bible with strong concordance, you'll see it's 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 a, it's not the same word. That's like the difference between someone's name being Jason and someone else's name being Jonathan. They both start with a J. So Keep this in mind. Again, if you add it, it's is. Everybody argues that's ISIS. I'm not going to argue that. It's, it's just is. And the next word is going to be Ra. Like the Egyptian bullshit. R-A-H. And we already saw that definition means bad. Bad guy. So, 
and then elite because if you add it you're going to say um, e l i t e which is the word elite we lost our nobility people it is what it is so if you just slightly change the word take the plural out right? instead of houses of israel house of israel and you're still going to get this wicked flag this bad raw raw flag now what is the raw flag are these people right when they say that's the star of Moloch and that's the star of Ramthan? are they right well i mean if we just sit there and say Dear robot, please express to me what is the star of Remtan? I would like to know. And this is what the robot gives me back. Why is it giving me back the star? Now, if we read the Bible, it's going to tell us that the star of Moloch and the star of Remtan are evil. Rah. Now, there's the star of Moloch with the bull in the center. which means they want to control the bull. So if you put the bull in the center, the bull becomes like the tabernacle. Or oh, we'll get to this, right? The bull becomes the center like the ta tabernacle. I should probably just take this image uh, and then open the image in a new tab and we'll take this down here and put that right there and we'll go back over here. Uh, so say, bing, 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 bing. now you see what the shit's all about, right? It's about what you call to the center of it. Boom, 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 boom. This shit is wicked. Wicked. Hey, Zabak, why you got that evil fucking star around your neck? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, we know. We know. So. What is the star of Rimfan? I just tell you all over and over. Is this the star of David? Or is this the star of Lucifer? Huh? Now you see all this shit? This is what they do. They took things that's supposed to be righteous. Right? No! They just took the name. They took wicked shit. And they just took the righteous names and put it over wicked shit. You got the fucking skull in the center. You got Bacchus in the center. You got the cross that's an ankh in the center. Mm. You got the Freemason compass right there and the star underneath. Here's another one with the bull. Here's one with the all-seeing eye, but that ain't the kind of eye you'd expect. That's a reptile eye. Here's one with the Swadiska. Swahiliska, huh? There go with oh, with Mary's virgin. <laughs> That's a word play. <laughs> there go Allah. I'll take two RB burgers. Right? That's that's what that should say right there. I mean, you think that ain't the Orient? You think that ain't what's that? The fucking American Indian? Psalms 83 And this wicked nation and this wicked nation and this wicked nation has all joined in to take a piece of my flesh Now you cut a piece of me pound per pound I want receipts I should stop there before I just Say a bunch of stupid stuff. No, I mean, so there's 15 different stars of Yisrael. No, that's Star Rim playing. That's Star Your Rim. And I guess that one's Star Moloch. I, I don't know what's the difference between if you sit there and have, hey, show me the Star Moloch. It's go show you same shit. So. Star Moloch, Star Rimpan, or wait, 
I'm having a flashback. Once upon a time, I was reading the big, big book. It was like tuning, right? So I said, star of tuning, right? You see, it keep on saying, fucking, you want China, man? You want the star of China? Right, okay. So he said, I put the vowels, there's two vowels, does it fucking matter? You put the vowels in the wrong place, huh? The star of your God, which ye made yourselves. Amos, prime six, right? It say this is a healing God, and then the healings rule over us, right? And then here is the images of the God with a different version of who they think should be sitting in the middle. Ain't this black Egypt? Ain't this your um 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 a right American Indian? Hmm? Amor! Amori? Hmm? Sitting bull. Where was he sitting? In your stead. Right? Huh? The star of your god. Ruff. Rem. Fan. It's just a fucking expression. You see this? White power. I just, I, I need you to see these peoples. I need you to never forget. Hmm? To this drum supposed it to be, I added the word it, Lucifer or Venus. Clearly Jerome figured it, that, you know, it's one or the other. C could you imagine if Jerome had the inter internet? Now, you see how Jerome would figure this shit out real easy if it was the first son of Venus. Then he would have thought, Venus is a star that bears light. Le Venus is Lucifer. It's, the so it's a fucking last name. All right, twinkle, twinkle, all that stupid shit. All right, so. Now we're going to read through this, and this is just, again, the arrangement, how they are positioned in camp. All right, and it says, on the east side, toward the rising sun, they set, excuse me, shall they of the standard of the camp of Judah pitch throughout their armies, and Nashon, or Nashon, uh, son of Ami Nadab shall be captain of the children of Judah and his host and those that were numbered of them three score and fourteen thousand and six hundred and those that do pitch next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar so again somewhat of a you would think it's a line because it says next to them but we're just going to keep going remember in the center is the levites so keep that in mind and those that do pitch next to him shall be the tribe of the tribe of issachar and nathaniel or nathaniel nathaniel the son of zor shall be the captain of the children of issachar and it states and his host and those that were numbered thereof were fifty and four thousand and four hundred. Five, four, four, fifty-four thousand four hundred. So these are still the princes from the last chapter, and they are being placed as the captain. Okay, so they are 
in charge of their tribe. They are to stand in to represent the for the patriarch, the forefather. And this is why Issachar's name is here, of the children of Issachar, Nathaniel, son of Zur, stands in and represents them, Issachar now. And his host, and those were numbered thereof, were fifty and four and four hundred. So fifty-four thousand four hundred. And of the tribe of Zebulon, Zebulon has passed away by now, but Elab, son of Helion or Helon, or it's Kai, Kailon, Kailon. So the C is left out, so we say hell. You see what they do? They want hell coming out of your mouth. Hell yeah! That's what idiots say. Holy sh! That's what dumbasses say. Does it ever say anywhere that they defecate in heaven? Why would you say holy crap? Because we got talked into saying it from Robin saying stuff like that to Batman. So you're the little guy in spandex, uh, in, in underwear. You're the little guy in underwear next to the big guy in spandex. Hell no! Why are we even saying hell? The more we say the word hell, the more we what play on their. Bull crap. Heaven isn't even a word we should discuss. I mean, sure, talking to simple folk, this is what simple minds know. But to each other, we don't go to hell, we go to Sheol. We go to one of four chambers. No, it says K Long. K Long was the captain of the children, right? He was the son of Elab, the son of K Long, shall be the, ca uh, the, the, the captain. All right. And then we say it's not Nazi, Nazi, exalted, a king or a sheik. Now you see what the fuck just happened. We done looked up words that just we're not familiar with. And here we go. I told you we are Arabs. Afro-Asian is the Arab. Abraham's children went to the desert and became what? Arabs. Now, you can see for yourself. It is right here. A ruler so that is what the prince does we all know that a prince is what one step from a king and this is a position where they have not they don't have kings yet and his host those that were numbered thereof were fifty and seven thousand and four hundred very clear fifty seven thousand four hundred people all that's men that's not the women that's not the children that's not young men that's 19 years old that's not young men that's 18 years old that's 20 and up those that can do war so again if you, handicapped children aren't counted or lame or deaf children are not counted all that were numbered in the camp of Judah were an hundred thousand and four score thousand and six thousand and four hundred throughout their armies. These shall first set forth. So even though it says they line up to the east, we can see that when they say they shall line up to the east, that's he's saying they, they're going to go first. Okay, so imagine. They had to line up in a position that they were going to go east first. So when we go out of here and we start thinking about what's going on, it's 12 tribes and they're 
they're positioning themselves in roughly a polygon or a circle, however you want to look at it. And the goal is to surround and always have surrounded the tabernacle. And so as I read this, this is what comes to mind. And we're dealing with 12, not 8. So 8 is hex or hexa. And we want a 12-sided polygon. And that's called a do d Kagan or Dodec Agon. All right. Dodeca. Now, several types of Dodecas are illustrated above. Where? Up here? In, up here. Okay. In particular, the Dodecacon uh, with vertices equally spaced around the circle with all such. So, okay. This. Uh, also triggered a thought, right? And what's a 13? Try decagon. Okay, so now I'll show you the evolution, right? Once you count, you have you have 12 tribes, and they're protecting something. Then you get into the Roman dodecagon, dodecahedron. Okay. Now, the dodecahedron is a small hollow object made of copper. Now, remember, the Bronze Age, right? We need copper to make bronze. The Bronze Age ended with Iron Age, right? This is what they're trying to sell us. It was a small hollow object made of copper which has been cast into a regular dodecahedra shape so there's the best example of it. now imagine you have the tabernacle in the center and you have 12 tribes and you are a military strategist and you want to defeat the israelites or any other army that would ever think to break themselves into 12 factions. How would you strategize against that? Well, I for one would think this would make an excellent choice. So, if the side facing east was Judah and Judah marched forth or charged forth, but the retaining 11 held its place, and then I, myself, would I would send my own battalion to stop the charge, and I would send a second battalion against the weak point. Now, if this face comes to me, that's not the weak point. The weak point is the opposite side. So, very simply, if this is a side that's charging, I want to attack this side. And I personally believe this is what the decohedron was for. Not for a game of dice, but as military strategist, if you sat there and you tried to think three-dimensionally, the East Camp broke free attack on the west end but we're not set up on northeast southwest right this is going to be the northeastern side attack we need to attack on the southeastern side how do we visualize that and then of course just pull out this fucking die and you, you, you three-dimensionally show they're attacking from here we need to get to this side right here and, and that's what I think it's for. But that's just my own opinion, because as we read this, they're going to say, we don't know. Hmm? The purpose is unknown. They first found it in 1739. Since Rome is supposed to be around for... Oh, they killed Christ, or I think they killed their fake god, so they're supposed to be around for, at that point, 1,700 years! You only found fucking one? Huh. 
how stupid. See, they think they're writing for orphan. Me no orphan. <laughs> Me comprende. Yeah. Since 1739, oh, they found at least 100. So this isn't some pocket game of dice that everybody in Rome would have. This is something special that only a few have been found. And think about that. Since 1739, now all of a sudden they found 116. They didn't find is one from the time of Christianity. Here's one. They didn't find, like, here's from one era. Remember, they can test metal. They can test metal, tell you how old it is, when, when it was last heated and treated. Remember, they can do so much with metal. Remember, metal has become a kitchen cabinet of, of, of uh, spices. To make exotic metals, you take a little bit of this, a little bit of this. They found a sword. They studied the sword. It's inside the sword. Twelve different metals. Do you know how much digging in the dirt you need to do to find twelve different metals? Which ain't that big of a deal if you got many families and many clans doing it. So the idea that these are ancient becomes ridiculous. You see this one tarnishing, turning greenish. That's the same thing that happened to those cathedrals. So one would presume that these were built at the same time as the cathedrals. But if they sit there and tell you the cathedrals are a thousand years old, we're saying not. Is built at the same time using the same metal. The purpose, no mention of this shit has been found in any accounts. Why would they give their strategies away? When the Romans form a line with shields, they form a face. What is this is about? The faces, man. We're calling them sides, sides. And they want, it's the face, man. Let me see. Yeah, we gotta go further. We gotta go further. We're not gonna get to those yet. See, and once they start saying vertices and shit, I'm like, wait a second. I use those in programs now. So, what does it mean in chemistry? It means face. Right? Twelve faces. Right? Right. That's all it means. What does it mean in, in fucking, uh, what is that, chemistry? What, what are we going to look at now? Biology. What does it mean in biology? Right? A combining form used in the names of geometrical solid figures uh, having... Uh, the form or number of faces! Face! Faces! Face! Face me! That's what it is. It's about a face. You go into these hmm? polygon programs, they call art programs, and what you're doing, you're just working with the face. That's it. If an army lines up, in 12 positions, it's a face. It's the same shit. So that means when I go into my programs and I turn on Blender, uh, uh, I'm using the same goddamn math they were using thousands of years ago, I mean, fucking 300 years ago. Well, they had to build the stuff first, so I would say 500 years ago. 
And then they'd have to lose the stuff through war, which would only take a few years. So I'm stretching it saying 500 years ago. Faces. Geometry. This is what we're dealing with. Twelve sides being put into a position to make something whole. Start the elevator music. I just, I don't understand when you have the opportunity to Hold it. It's a lot different when it's in the computer. But to have the ability to just rip it out of the screen, to hold it, to visualize where it would be in the dynamics of everything. It's, it's, a, it's an amazing thing to be able to play with the polygons to create sides and to be able to do stuff. Wait, wait, it starts. Starts right to left. That's not cool. Yeah. No, no, it's left to right. Is it left to right when you're facing? You're going to go in here. I'm going to cut you up and just jam you right in there. No, no, no. Not my bad. So, these are, these are just symbols. They're just plastic symbol I'm, I'm gonna have a plastic symbol and, and then and then and then you, you're gonna have a plastic symbol and then and then we have symbol hmm? or, You can make a flag. You can make a garment. You can make a brand new Bible where all the junk is thrown out and all the real is in there. I mean, but it's about what you want to do, what you want to commit to. Oh, we make these videos, you know, we can make like maps and start writing things in. And there's tons of things that people can do. You know, you can make a little. Uh, notebook and when your notes are done you can just conform them into a little pamphlet you can sell the pamphlet at the gas station blender and blender is a free, pro free program i would suggest everybody try it out
you know, it's, especially if you use the pencil and pen and doodle daddle. You could 3D print little arcs of the covenant. But, you know, some idiot's going to idolize it. So remember, everybody, these are faces. What you saw, that is one, two, four, eight faces split down the center, so 16, 16 squares. And then you manipulate the squares. And then you add a graph over it and it smooths it up. And that's what you end up with. Now these, these were done with foam and then molded. Now all these, these were 3D printed. And it's just getting more and more exciting uh, in a slow way, but you know. So when I say there are things that you could be doing to occupy your time uh, as a hobby, you know, uh, keep you out of bad stuff. I've got plenty of examples. Not everything you're going to do is successful. Everybody should know that up front. Not everything you're going to do is going to be free. Once you use Blender and you have made something you like or you think should be printed, then you have an issue of printing. How will you print? Will you buy a printer or will you pay someone to print it for you? If you play the guitar, if you have a musical instrument, and I don't mean a, a drum machine. A guitar is something you constantly tune. You constantly have to do things to the guitar. The guitar is like a child. That's not the best, but okay, I'm just going to leave it at that because you have to take care of it. How many people have hobbies with something that they have to take care of? Yeah, if you had metal detector, metal detector, that's a hobby, but that's not an instrument you have to take care of. A piano is an instrument you have to take care of. A keyboard is not an instrument you have to take care of. A brass instrument is something you have to take care of because it's metal, it will corrode. Only copper and brass don't corrode, but you, you get what I'm saying, right? Why, do, why is everybody shining their instruments? Because, right, when you get built up, it changes the sound and things like that. Nobody's saying you have to do something. Someone's just suggesting you are a heartbeat. If you sit around and everything that you do needs, needs electricity. When the electricity is gone, you're out of shit. You see with this printer and these programs, I design what I want, I print what I want, I'm done. Now, if the power goes out, well, what I printed is tangible. Okay, so the electricity going out no longer stops me. The system changes, oh, okay, well, I have my toy. So, think about these things. How many of you live in the city, your parents fished, your dad was a fisherman, your hobby fisherman, and you don't fish. Well, teach a man to fish so he can feed himself. That's probably one of the first things some of us need to know. 
we're in a system that dedicated itself to not hiring your dads for good jobs, which leads to stress and breaks up the home. So a lot of us don't have relationships with our father. My parents divorced at 11. My father was no longer there to teach me anything. When my father was with me, what did he teach me? Lecture, 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 lecture. What did you become good at when you were an adult? See how that works? Now imagine if I talked about nothing all day. All right, so look, I'm trying to encourage you. It's very clear. You can use stones and rocks all over. This one's paid for, $10. This one was free. Now, if I go online and start watching videos, this one, this is the only one I've paid for. This one was free. Now, by studying online, meaning by watching people express what rocks they have and, and rock identification, videos that most people would think are kind of boring, I found out that this orange stuff is feldspar. That's 50% that's of the Earth's crust. The green stuff on the inside, I want to pronounce it right, it's epidote. Now, when they're mixed like this, it becomes unikite. Now, the green is light green because the epidote likes to grow with quartz. So, again, if you take a, I'm sorry, I didn't mean again. If you take a strong dye, purple, dark green, you put it in water are you going to get dark green are you going to get dark purple or are you going to get regular purple and regular green so i'm assuming that the epidite the green was like a dye and then the quartz worked it at work uh worked as a like like water to dilute the color of it so it's a real fine lime green that runs through it so, and then once you get into, if I do this to it, I make it shiny and pretty and beautiful. What is the value, All right? Mm, well, again, it depends on if you can actually sell it and who's, and, 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 and who's going to be the buyer. If you sell it to someone that's, that's that, you know, if you put a price on it that's reasonable, somebody will buy it. This is what I tell people. It's very simple. You clean some of these stones up. We have been living in these poor neighborhoods for how long? Some of these stones will then be worth more than your whole block. Nobody knows what's in the ground underneath them. We're all living on top of two or three different civilizations. I started watching this video the other day. It said that a giant, a body of a giant was found in Akron, Ohio. Now I started trying to search where it was found and it just says by a quarry. So then I am looking for where the oldest quarry is in Akron. And it's, it's interesting because, you know, I didn't know previously that a giant was found here. If I sat there and said, oh, I would like to hunt giants, the first thing I would do is go out west. No one would think, look in your own backyard. So the idea of building things for the future that you will not get your hands on uh, after everything shuts down, now is the time. The idea of sowing something the truth. I want to look this way. You're not going to get that. You know, what? When your hand's sewing and there's no electricity and everybody's fighting each other? Think about this and think about your future. Everybody else is in the game. 
You know what the game is. The game is the American dream. Which is the lie. It's it's the American dream is the prophetic lie. Prophecy shall be fulfilled. The American dream is that this is going to go on forever and that there is no prof prophecy. Yet these people did everything to do that they could. Everything that they could do to hide the truth. That is what a lot of these people are making video money from. Let me tell you my version of your history. So let's move on. And now that we don't got to the, to the to the richness and what all this truly really means, at least to me, because again, if Jerome reads Numbers chapter two, is it is going to be a straight read through? If Bob reads Numbers chapter two, is he going to keep injecting Jesus? And then of course, if I read these things, um. Why wouldn't I do the same and inject myself or inject my hopes or my dreams? This is why I always tell everyone, you don't need to see my face for this. Read it yourself for self-understanding. How many of you have a Bible, your special book? How many of you watch these videos and when we find a word that's left out or a word that should mean something, how many write in what should be going on in that book? The more action we do, even the little stuff, it'll get us prepared for the big stuff. And the big stuff is coming. <clears throat> so, and all that were numbered in the camp of Judah were an hundred thousand and four, four score thousand and six thousand and four hundred throughout their armies. These shall first set forth. So, in this division, they broke Judah into three armies, and he's giving you the numbers for each of the three armies. It's, it's not that difficult, although these guys are not writing about this section. All that were numbered in the camp of Judah were an hundred thousand and four score a thousand. And, and then does he give the equation? No. Nope. And so he doesn't even give the equation of what it all actually means. But it's okay because, again... It shouldn't really make sense to people because when we read it last chapter, they didn't have a hundred thousand, right? And right here, it say they were a hundred thousand. So something has changed. And the second row was four score thousand and six thousand, right? Well, excuse me, one hundred thousand. Four score thousand is going to be what? 80? And they're going to argue 80. So it's 184,400 men. On the south side shall be the standard of the camp of Reuben. According to their armies, the captain of the children of Reuben shall be Elazur. He is the son of Shidur. Shadur, Shadur, something of that nature. Shed at Ur, and his host. Now, the host is the mass of people, and those that were numbered thereof were forty and six thousand and five hundred, forty six thousand five hundred. And those which pitch by him shall be the si uh, tribe of Simon. So again, there is no confusion about where anybody should be at that time. They're telling you 
exactly where everybody should be uh, in the respects of uh, hexagon. Now I know we're dealing with the dodecahedron, but this is giving us two dimensions. And then you could say Judah is in the east and next to him, Issachar next to him, Reuben and next to him. Now again, with his uh, 12-sided polygon, and we, the, oh, excuse me, yeah, this is the wrong images. All right, now, when you look at this, do you see the circles that are on the ends where they meet, and then the angle that is, is discussed? Now, again, look at, look at, look at, I clicked the wrong one. You see the circles at the end, right? Because it's, it's what? It's the angles that are being created. See, this is five sides, right? This is a triangle. No, this is what's going on. Why does the dodecahedra, right? Why does it have those dots? And why does the poly, uh, the dodecagon have these dots? And this one's supposed to be ancient. And they've only found 116 of them. Oops, that opened in the wrong place. Now imagine, you see inside the dodecahedron. You see it, right? You see one face of it, but it's a six-sided face instead of a five-sided face. And now, you see how in the center is what they're worshiping? Now, in the center is what there would be what they're fighting for if this is a military device for strategy now it states and those that are going to pitch next to Reuben is going to be Simon and the captain of the children of Simon shall be Shelumel or Shelumel and he is the son of Zuri Shaddai and his hosts and those that were the number of them were 50 and 9,300 and the tribe of Gad so Gad is set up next to Simon uh, and the captain of the sons of Gad shall be Eliasph, uh, and the son of Ruel the host of them that were with them was the number of 45,650 all that were numbered in the camp of Reuben were 100,050 and 1,450 throughout the armies, and they shall set forth in the second rank. So, now, everybody that's been mentioned before is under him. All right, second rank. So this is above Gad is the second rank. And so everybody up here is part of one army. So if Judah moves forth and he so chooses, he moves forth with Simon and with Reuben. Now when Gad is the second, Right, so when Gad troops move forward, he would call forth the others that's gonna follow. We gotta go to Gad. We're gonna say Gad. Let's switch to Ruth and switch. To, I thought I just saw. No, 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 no. All right, second rank. All right. All right, and then the tabernacle of the congregation shall be set forth with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camp, in the middle of the camp. Now you understand that's that's from the east, and then it goes around to one side. Now they're talking about what's in the middle. As they encamp, so shall they set forth every man in his place by his standards. Now you understand what I meant earlier when we go read about the sign and it said the Levites was supposed to go to all the other people, all the, all the other tribes? We don't say that here at all, do it. I'll bring it back up on screen so you don't think I'm a complete idiot. Now remember, Google felt 
it important to put this dumb dumb site up front so we went to this dumb dumb site is the first one and here on dumb dumb site and we scroll down and the levites kept the charge of the tabernacle that's what it says and they had no territory that's a lie we just heard their territory is with all the holy stuff so what is this person talking about why should they even have a site up if they're just fucking lying let's continue to read the lie they had no territory and they were dispersed among the other tribes oh because that's what it said and then the tabernacle of the combination is set forth and the levites in the midst of the camp If the Levites are in the midst of the camp, then they actually the center of the all attention, right? No stranger, no foreigner shall touch the tabernacle or they shall die. So that means everybody that surrounds the tabernacle would have to know if you let anybody through. So then, I mean, if we sat there and go back to the, the decahedron, I mean, you can clearly see from not that one, not that one, this one maybe? Nope. Let's try another one. I mean, you can see from all sides. If you sat there and put the Levites in the center, hmm, I mean, uh, how could they have no territory at all? I don't know what this guy's saying. And this is what I mean about all these different websites that are controlled by who? most important thing is the damn levites you shall all be levites to me and it doesn't say you all be judeans it doesn't say you all be ephraim to me so i've been studying this chest plate trying to figure out where the pieces go and which pieces to get and it seems that none of these so-called historians are in agreement of what stones should be placed where so that's when i realized it's all a lie the, the stones they don't want you to know which stones are truthful because they don't want that plate created and then i realized there's a description of every stone so they left a description of every stone so the wise can figure it out but they put the wrong name in on every stone so the first, he even tells you, uh, um, So here are the stones of the breastplate, right? So uh, the verse is uh, Exodus 28, all right? So let's just go real quick. Exodus 28. And if we go down to 15, thou shall make the breastplate. And the breastplate has to have these colors in it. Now it says uh, the stones. The first row shall be Sardis. So, if you look at Sardis, it's going to say, O Dem. From this word, Aldem, meaning ruddy, red, right? Flush. So, redness, that is the ruby, the garnet, or some other red gem, Sardis. It completely is telling you they don't even know. So, and then you have to go and you have to study what the word Odom means, which means Adam or Autumn, which means red or ruddy, which means the ruddy clay. It wasn't brown clay. It was red clay. And what's important about the red clay, like North Carolina, it looks like blood. So the jewel or gem or stone that fits in the first slot needs to be blood red. So. Then it becomes the question, is Sardis 
a blood red stone. And then hmm, when you start learning about it, Sardis is not a blood red stone. I've typed images and it just does not want to. Now you can see Sardis is kind of brown. It gives that autumn kind of thing. But again, you have to study what Odim means. And Odim means blood red. Now, then you have to go and say, please, robot, uh, can you work first? And then I'll get to my sentence. Piece of shit. So you have to say blood red. Uh, gems. All right. Mm. See how it stays on screen. Yeah, you can tell that. You know, see how there's a difference in the color when you sit there and say that color and this one. See how this one looks all bloody in comparison. Here, wait. I'll cut my arm and you know. Oh, look. First thing that comes up is the Burmese, right? And we know what the Burmese did to uh, Judea. Siam. 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 <laughs> You see all the freezing that's going on all of a sudden. It's it's like, uh, you know, I got a government tick on my ass and they won't just let my shit work. So, you can see how bloody, right? Here's a natural, see the say, ruby keeps coming up. By blood red ruby there is no other blood red gem he's going blood red gem it keep coming back as ruby 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 now you would have to ask yourself if i'm reading the strong concordance and i'm reading the bible why is the bible telling me sardis the definition is telling me it's more like a ruby. Now, when we go back, it says, oh, it could even be a garnet. So, we can even go and say, computer, when you decide to work, see how fast that was? It's like, why doesn't it do that all the time? Oh, because you're being, so when you look at garnet as a stone, you see, Sometimes, the garnet looks more like blood you can't see. Okay? You know blood is red because you can see it. Garnet looks like blood under the skin where they tell you it's blue or purple. Now, this one looks bloody, but again, the idea that you can have this in every stone versus I have to get a special kind of garnet to look blood red. When the ruby, it, it constantly looks bloody. You can always sit there and say, how can I be sure? I mean, you just put blood on the screen. And you just go back and forth till you're satisfied. And you don't want any bullshit. This is all CGI. All right? And some of these, you can see the actual in injury. That's... If you say, show me a stone that look like these injuries. Again, are you gonna be looking right here? Or right here? Or, right, they say, oh, it's Sardis. Or right here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the simple, simplest way to find the definition.
you see the natural black back there? See the natural darkness of it? And it doesn't have to be purple. It doesn't have to be blue. It makes your mind have that illusion. What are you seeing in this? Fresh and dried, fresh and dried, fresh and dried. Does the dried look purple or blue? No, it looks black. Just like this. So, again, um, I understand the ruby I have. I'm not, listen, I'm building a plate, that's all. It's a symbol. There's nobody to anoint you. There's nobody to anoint me. There's nobody that received the dream to say anoint you. There's nobody that received the dream to say anoint me. It's just a symbol. So, and again, I know the stone I have doesn't look like these rubies, but it still denou uh, denotes what it should actually be. It should be a ruby. Because there are no other blood red gems. Now, again, you have to take Odom and you have to go washes color so if you go to Jewish encyclopedia and you type in Odom they give you color and thank you mr. Stanford mr. Brandon so and then you type in Odom but it's not gonna be spelled the same O D O Nope. O-D-E. And there it is right there. Hence the form Odom. Now, and this is how you find the truth about which stones to use by description. Now, see here say green, blue, and yellow. It'll teach you about all the stones by just reading this one article. Now I say, redness is applied in the Talmudic literature to the scarlet lily, corium, to wine, to the ruby. I didn't see that before. And in the something form, the pudding to the blush, deep redness is Adam Dam. Adam Dam. Sheba Adum Mim. Adum Mim. Hence, are form the nouns Odim, Odim, Adam, Eve, Odim, Ad, U, Admut. Uh, to be correct, it's this uh, Admu, Admumit, Ad, Admumit. Compared to Gior, red of complexion. Usual term red in Aramaic is sumaka reddish or blah 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 blah. You know, found in Gion. Now I took one of these words. I forgot which one it was. Oh, adumit. Now I took adumit and I copied it. I went over and I said, "Is adumit a stone?" Right? <laughs> and uh. Gem. And this is what happened. It gives me a foreign language. Now watch. Scroll down. Scroll down. And then we're going to get some English. Adumit equals Vorosis. Vorosis. <laughs> fucking, can you believe this? All for one little gem. So I said, what the fuck is Vorosis? Tell me! Computer, analyze the word Vorosis. Tell me what it means. And then the computer came back and was like, do 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 do, Vorosis, do do do, Vorosis. 
And then I got confused, like, what is this? And you're not going to believe this is going to lead back to a flower. And I forgot how it leads to the flower, but it leads to the red magnolia. Now, let me see if it just say it on screen. Where? Red flamingo. Right? But the word I saw was mag. Magnolia. And it's not going to be up here. So let me put up here. Flower. Alright. Now, I lost how I got here, but verosis means red, ma red magnolia. Something I found was like, it means there, nope, that wasn't it. I, it might be in my phone, but I'm really just trying to show you the steps. And so once it told me red magnolia, no matter how I found it to be red magnolia, I just typed in red magnolia and I saw what a red magnolia looks like. Uh, and then of course, when you got more than one to compare, you can see this bloody shit right here. And you see, there's like one more down here. And see how that one is? That's what came up. The gene. Gene, right? That's the gene. The genome. That's what all of them is coming from this. This was the grandpas. I'm sure the grandpas was much bigger. They were giants in those days. Everything was gigantic. So this is like the color I'm, I'm, I'm kind of looking for. When it's Voros goes back to Odom goes back to, excuse me, Burroughs goes back to Ad-Doom, Ad-Mu, Ad-Movement, to Burroughs, and I, I, I can't remember, I think my, it's on my phone, but it led to Red Magnolia, so, this is the trick to the stones, so Topaz is not a fucking Topaz, okay, so again, you're gonna go back over, you're gonna say, and this is talking about color, and then you want to say topaz, and then I'm going to give topaz as a color. And then when you say they gave topaz, but the word that they're going to use for topaz is pitta. Now you take pitta, and now you type in pitta. And they don't accept it as pidda. I mean pitta. They accept it as pid P I D. Now you go over here and you say pitta, right? And this is what's gonna happen. You bring up the strong's word. Now watch when I change the D in T. D T. And I say gemstone. Watch this. Buddha. So now these people don't change the definition that the pitta is no longer a gemstone. It is a pendant that they put the image of Buddha in. So, so I'm a little stuck on this one. <laughs> I won't be stuck here too long. You can pretty much see like over and over again is the same thing. So the word pitta will come off, forgot where, but it's on. Now see, now when you type in Pitta, all these gem articles come up. Now we in a Jewish encyclopedia, and the last thing that you would think to come up over and over is gems. So, how do you think they were making most of their finance? If the Ashkenazi pretend to be you and they run in jewelry stores, I 
Now I am here online trying to suggest to you to extend your knowledge into some different hobbies like rock hunting, metal detecting, oops, now this is no different, Dia Dash was in the comments yesterday, my husband likes to go grab old computer equipment and strip it down for copper, again there's plenty of people online that strip it down for gold, they strip it down for silver, you, you, look, you can strip it down for each and every metal. You just need to know where the precious metals are in the computer. And then once you got it stripped down, you can buy a crucible on uh, Amazon. You can get some blow torches and a and a in a, in a tube and in a in a in a cheap uh, wind blower. You connect wind blower to the tube, and then you, you blow that at the, the fire that you're creating, and you you, you you get up into to to the high hundreds, and you can melt this stuff, purify it. Have yourself little bars of gold and little bars of silver just on computer scrap or electronic scraps. And then you, you got you, and all this stuff has metals in it, steel. Copper, some shit needs brass. Excuse me, bronze. You take the brass and you take, excuse me, you take the bronze and the copper, excuse me, the brass and the copper, you mix it together, you make bronze. So, and we were on the Levites, right? And I believe, one second. When the tabernacle of the congregation shall set forth with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camp, as they encamped, so shall they set forth every man in his place by their standards. That doesn't say every man to a different camp. The Gentile are liars. On the west side, so this is opposite Judah. So if Judah is in the front and that's starting in the east, the west is the back end. So shall be uh, the standard of the camp of Ephraim, according to their armies, right? The head and the tail. Judah the head, Ephraim the tail. But Ephraim is the special son to the Most High. Judah is actually protecting Ephraim, and we don't see it. Now, if we looked at it as a board, two-dimensionally, we would say, well, Judah's in the north, and Ephraim's in the south, and the tabernacle's in the middle. Now, if we say Ephraim's at the back of the army, where does the king usually sit in the army? Does he sit to the front and lead the army, or does he sit to the back so he is not harmed? So, this is why Judah was always known to be so strong. He's in the front, taking the brunt. On the west shall be Ephraim. Elishama shall be uh, the son of Amihud is the captain and his host his army are those that were numbered of them forty thousand and five hundred and by him shall be the tribe of manasseh and the captain of the children of manasseh shall be gamaliel gamaliel and he's the son of paosur pedosur the rock and his host and those that were numbered of them were thirty and two thousand and two hundred. And of the tribe of Benjamin, and the captain of the, of the sons of Benjamin shall be Abidan, and his son is Gidani. I mean, his the son of Gidani, and his host are those that went and numbered uh, thirty and five thousand and four hundred. Three, five, four. Thirty-five thousand and four hundred. All that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim. Now, these were all led by Ephraim. You see what's going on? Here's Ephraim being named in the back, 
He is leading the back army, and we all know that Benjamin was one of the weaker tribes, not to insult them. Even when you look at their numbers, their numbers were low, 30 and 5. Thousand and four three five four. <clears throat> All that were numbered of the camp of Ephraim were an hundred thousand and eight thousand and a hundred. Excuse me. Let's see, one hundred eight and a hundred. So one zero eight comma one zero zero. throughout their armies and they shall go forward in the third rank now remember gad has tribes with him ephraim tribes with him judah tribes with him levites control the center the standard of the capitan shall be on the north side so if you can see uh, we're saying judah is in the lead and then tribes are following behind him gad is second and then tribes are following and when i say tribes are following with him it tell you the tribes that he has control over and then ephraim and then the levites and then ephraim is in the back and in the back ephraim has control of the ephraimites and his state right here the other tribes that he's in control of right ephraim benjamin and Manasseh and then on the north excuse me so if Judah's in the front this would be to the right side we would normally call this east but this is being said to the north they're facing they're they're lined up to the north because they're in battle array imagine I hate to say this but imagine they own the west coast they is in California, they're in Oregon, something of that nature, and they're facing east. So lined up to go to the east, first shall be Judah, and then the armies with him, and then shall be Gad and the armies that's under his platoon. Let's we'll say platoon, that's such a smaller amount of people, I shouldn't say the word platoon. And then shall be the tabernacle, and behind him shall be Ephraim, and when with the Ephraim, and now on the side. Now it says on the north side, so if we's all facing to the east, the north side will be to the left. Excuse me, earlier I said to the right. So on the north side going to be Dan, and Dan is going to be in control of the armies of Naphtali. And with Naphtali, that's it. It's Dan and Neph Naphtali on, on the on the left hand side which would be the north facing east so two armies in the front levites in the middle ephraim in the in the rear dan to the left and then it's going to say on the right side which would be the south right no the south isn't maybe gad's side was the south and i missed that Or they're doing a uh, uh, a wing formation because we when we read this what's named man I don't really have a visual I mean they're making a straight line formation and then to the to, to one side is Dan and and uh, who's the other tribe with Dan I just forgot that okay so and then there's asher i missed that so yeah dan asher and Naphtali. so uh the child that leads is pejiel he's the son of akron uh for asher and then Naphtali. akira is the leader and enon is his four is his father his forefather and then with the three, three tribes together, Dan is then leading 100,050 and 7,000. So 157, 157,000.
and 600. These are those which are numbered of the children of Israel by the house of their fathers. And all those that were numbered of the camps throughout the host were 600,000 and 3,500. So 603, comma, 550. But the Levites were not numbered among the children of Israel as the Ishi had commanded Moshe, and the children of Israel did not, uh, did according to all that the Ishi commanded in Moshe, so they pitched. By, the st by their standards, and so they set forth everyone after their families according to the house of their father. When he says they pitch by their, their standards, it goes right back to the top where he says, these are the princes, every man of Israel, Israel, pitch by their own standard. Now, pitch means to set up tent, okay? Properly to incline, decline, to encamp, decamp. In tents, out of tents, right? All right, so look, I hope everybody learned a lot from this. Uh, with this, you've also been, uh, so, to, so to say, updated on what's happening here uh, with everything. Um, I would hope uh, uh, only to inspire people to move in a direction that. Uh, anciently recorded I, I, I again when you sit here and there we have sayings there's no rest for the wicked when you look at society they're not slowing down it's speeding up when you ask yourself what do I have to offer a group a tribe, a clan. How many are only going to be an able body? I can carry water. I can't even dig my back. You know, I'm too old to dig. Keep these things in mind. Everything you want. is a product of creation. Everything that you can make can only be made out of the products of creation. If it's in you, this is your moment. Do not procrastinate and let your moments slip away. You will not be able to do some of these things later. Shall I?